Y'all know what come first in this show. We definitely showing love. If y'all know my body, y'all know we showing some love on this show. Shout outs to Doc Spills and I Am Mastery Academy. Like I told you, they making trading simple. Learning how to invest by just simply matching your colors. You match your colors and you win trades, man. I'm telling you guys, this is simple. And I think this is what we all should be getting into as far as managing our own money and managing our own finances. I said, surround your mind with greatness. Some of it will rub off. This is my office. This is where I start my day. And every day I read something. Form a habit of reading every day. It's about property. Oh, and like, I love what you're doing as far as the read, remember, repeat, because that's imperative, man. A lot of times, including myself, when I first started getting always, back into reading. And always, 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 family, remember this. Read, remember, and repeat. Oh, All man, you have to do with that. that man. Big Mitch, man, thank you. What a productive day, everybody. What a phenomenal night. Welcome everybody to the night show. And um, yeah, man, this is this book has been amazing so far. Napoleon Hill's philosophy of success. And um, I want to just jump right into the book, right? Because we are on chapter 15. Chapter 15 is sound physical health. So sound physical health means, or it was telling us in the book so far that our brain is like the mechanic of everything that we do like the heart it beats on its own your brain is telling it that so that's your subconscious mind so it's doing that automatically if you had to think about that it might be a hard job right so like the brain even tells your food where to go it tells it when it has to come out it talks to the cells so we got to give more thought and more power to the brain than it is anything else right but um I'm a, I'm a, I'm learning also along with you guys. So let's tap in to where we left off, right? Page 173. Foods for fitness. Our body is made up of what we eat, but we furnish it with the needed requirements for growth and repair. We add length to our life, along with health, strength, and the joy of living. Our first food is air. Our second, water. And our third, the living elements in food, which we classify as vitamins and minerals. Air, to breathe properly, the body must be erect, whether in a standing, walking, or sitting posture. If the body is allowed to slump, the lungs are cramped so that they cannot fully expand. And the muscles that control breathing are hampered in their Breathing from waistline to neckline includes the whole of the lungs from top to bottom. Practice deep breathing until it becomes a habit. Learn to inhale and exhale completely. Water. Next to air, we breathe. Water is the most important food stuff. Next to the air, we breathe. Water is the most important food stuff in our life. It makes up about half the volume of our blood and is used to carry the food elements to every living cell. If the body is unable to get enough water, unhealthy conditions result. It would be well to drink a glass of water upon awakening each morning, one glass with each meal and one or two glasses of water between meals. Vitamins and minerals. Food serves the body in three distinct ways. One, by supplying fuel for body energy, Two, by providing material for the building and upkeep of body organs and tissues. Three, by furnishing protective materials, vitamins and minerals, which regulate body functions. Aid the body in utilizing other foods and enable it to manufacture substances of its own. A diet of a wide variety of fruits, fresh vegetables, whole grain cereals, and milk with moderate quantities of seafoods and meats 
will supply the body mineral needs. These same foods, incidentally, are good sources of vitamins. Therefore, they do double duty in keeping the body in a good state of nutrition. Check with your doctor to see that your diet has adequate mineral and vitamin content. Eating habits. We can all help ourselves to improve digestion by following these suggestions. One, food should be chewed thoroughly before you swallow. Two, for best digestion, food should be tasty. Three, food should be eaten in moderate amounts. Four, do not do heavy physical work immediately after a meal. Five, eat a balanced ration consisting of at least a fair proportion of fruits and vegetables. Six, the mind must be conditioned and prepared for eating. One should never eat while angry, frightened, or worried. Conversation while eating should be of a pleasing nature and never too intense. Family disagreements and discipline should never take place during mealtime. The mealtime should be a time when all negative states of mind have been discarded. It should be an expression of gratitude to the Creator for having prepared so great an abundance of necessities of life for every living creature, not an hour for ugly expressions and negative thinking. Relaxation. Relaxation means the complete letting go of the body, of both the body and, and the mind, particularly clearing the mind of all worries, fears, and anxieties. There should be a period of not less than one hour in each day during which the body and the mind are habitually relaxed and released from all voluntary effort. Learn to relax even while you work. Let your muscles be as loose as possible. You will do your job more easily and save wear and tear on your nervous system. If you can lie down and rest during the day, even for as short a period as 30 minutes, you will lengthen the span of your life. Avoid fatigue. It is a killer. Fatigue produces poisons that injure the nervous system and hasten the onset of old age. When you are tired, rest promptly and completely. To drive yourself to the point of exhaustion is to cause disaster. Restful sleep. Sleep is one of the most important functions of life. Shakespeare calls sleep sore labors, bath, sore labors bathe, and chief nourisher in life's feast. Doctors are frequently asked how much sleep should a person have. Dr. L.J. Steinbeck of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, nationally known scientist has written an excellent paper on this subject from which we quote in part family is source time after the source you know we'll be right back he has some more i think as human beings everybody has a natural gift and a natural passion but then you go outside and you get influenced and you, and you feel pressure from from what's going on outside and so, you know, I read one time, like, would you rather be at war with yourself and at peace with the world mm -hmm. or at peace with yourself and at war with the world? Mm -hmm. And that was powerful for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. As human beings, everybody has a natural gift and a natural passion. But then you go outside and you get influenced and you, and you feel pressure from, from what's going on outside. And so, you know, I read one time, like, would you rather be at war with yourself and at peace with the world, mm -hmm. or at peace with yourself and at war with the world. Mm -hmm. And that was powerful for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. We are back, gang. Jump right into the book. Requirements according to age. The 8 out of 24 hour rule for sleep applies best to adults between the age of 21 and 50. While it is proper, popularly accepted that older persons sleep less, this does not mean that they need less rest. After 50, the physical sound body should have 10 hours or more divided between sleep and rest. After 60, not less than 12 hours out of 24. Mental activity is not so exhausting in later years of life as physical activity. In childhood and adolescence, the sleeping period should be from 10 to 12 hours. The growing tendency to shorten the length of rest in order to meet many new demands upon, in order to meet many new demands upon 
our time is regarded by nearly all researchers as an insidious danger to health. When you hang up your clothes and prepare for bed, hang up also all worries, problems, fears, and anxiety, leaving your mind free to concentrate upon its relaxation or restful sleep this evening. Lie on your back, hands along your, alongside your body. Stretch tall and then relax. Do this a few times and then you are ready to put the different parts of your body to sleep. Avoid the habit of self-prescribed drugs. Nature provided humanity with a very good supply of medicine for the maintenance of sound health. But she stores it in vegetables and fruits in the natural state in the form of minerals. All of these minerals can be taken in the form of prepared pills and liquid medicine. But they appear to serve nature's purpose much better if they are taken in their natural form from food that grows from the soil. Moreover, infinite intelligence has provided every person with an expert chemist who understands the exact proportion of each of these minerals that is needed for the maintenance of sound health. When a cure is effected normally, it is nature that does the curing. In most cases, doctors merely cooperate with nature in treating disease. Painkillers never cure disease. When you administer them to yourself, you are tearing down nature's warning signals with but temporary relief. Find out how your body functions. Study the combinations of food required by your particular system and working habits. Acquire moderation in your eating habits. Use self-discipline in all your habits. Thus, you will express your highest form of gratitude toward your creator. The habit of fasting. Weight correction is not the only function of fasting. For every animal that is lower in the scale of intelligence than man resorts to fasting for practically every physical ill. Fasting gives a needed rest to both the body and the mind. It gives the stomach and other vital organs, including the heart and the kidneys, time to catch up with their back work and the out, out of work that have been forced upon them by intemperate habits. Short fast of from one to three days should be taken from time to time whenever one feels dull and sluggish and lacking in vitality. Sometimes a single day's fast will work wonders in a person's physical condition. Wow. We think eating a help, but fasting a help even better. Look to your health and if you have it, praise God and value it next to a good conscience. For health is the second blessing that we mortals are capable of. A blessing that money cannot buy. Imagine yourself as perfectly healthy and sound in mind and body with a keen awareness of all that is good for you, such as proper food, rest, relaxation, a, conscious of, a consciousness of perfect health. Now repeat these words. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things properly to maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. I am perfectly healthy mentally and physically and I do all things to properly maintain my health. Chapter 16. Cooperation. Cooperation, like love and friendship, is something one may get by giving. The road that leads to happiness has many fellow travelers on it. You will need their cooperation and they will need yours. The teamwork we engage in today may make this country more livable for our children and for the children of other men who have a right to expect something from us besides a mountain of public debts. Remember, you appropriate these philosophies from the men who provided them. Remember that you owe something to those who will follow you. This nation must go on. The American standard of living must be maintained and raised even higher. Our system of free enterprise must be preserved. Our form of democracy must be protected. 
Our schools and churches must be given a firm foundation, and our sources of financial income must be made secure for the benefit of those who will follow us, just as they have been preserved for us by those who have received them. Family, that is our time. You know what I mean? We're going to leave the next, the next pages for tomorrow, and I think we'll be at the end of the book. Um, once again, this is Napoleon Hill's Philosophy of Success, the 17 Original Lessons. I advise you to get the book too, or if not, type it up. Presidential, the outcome evidential. We strive for higher mental. This time, no accidental. We shine because we special. No Kim, Kali, or Kendu. The others, I ain't forget you. Some stories, this isn't mental. I'm loving this instrumental. I write my life down with a pencil. Ay. Never paid attention, but I should have. Never finished blocks, the shorty just got shot Outside of the sandbox, it ain't inspiring Product of the environment, tired of seeing these niggas dying Mothers and fathers crying, we all here to iron Did you hear it too? Or maybe this one, it ain't meant for you I think about now and when I finish too I think about mind, body, and spirit too Like leaving something going, you still feel it too And writing these bars, know what I finna do Put it on the wall and laugh about how we did it too I'm praying all the good for you But dog, I don't really know what's good for you But listen to the end of you and don't believe in difficult Focus on the visual, I swear we going digital Bitcoin rising, this shit is visible If you listen to those rap, this shit is minimal Unless you out here trying to be a criminal Most of shit is taken from us, it ain't additional No broken bones, but this medicinal lab I get the feeling that you wishing you could go get it now Everybody that's around start to look like a crowd You gotta look inside yourself and start from the ground Analyze who is there and analyze who is not I ain't talking about family, I ain't talking about the block I'm talking about you and everything that you got The conductor of the train, the only one to make it stop And the pilot on the plane, the only one to make it hot That's when I found out it was cream in the crops I'm on my way to the top and now I'm getting a lot Push forms off of the lot, dividing them into lots I look like I hit a lot, we turning up on the yacht We shining a billion watts, we tying a trillion knots They trying to boycott, they want with the boycott Damn. Ha.